see a classic presentation of a cat with hypokalemia or low potassium. So what you'll notice is this kitty's holding its head down, um, mostly because it literally does not have the muscle strength to hold the head up. And so what happens is when these cats have low potassium, they lose some of the contraction or the strength in their muscles. And so literally this kitty is walking with its head down because it doesn't have the strength to hold its own head up. And the head is one of the heaviest things on the body. And so when we see that gait, we know immediately we have a cat with, with a potassium issue. Certainly you want to confirm that with blood work. Um, and then we start looking for why. Many times it's because the cat has underlying kidney disease and it's losing uh, too much potassium through the kidneys. Now certainly you also have to ask about medications that the pet may be on, diet, all of us take in our potassium through what we eat. So this is a pretty classic presentation. It's a short little video, but I do think it's important. This is one of those things that's textbook. You see it in um, on your board exams. You learn about it in school. Um, I've seen it a handful of times, but this, this is 100% um, hypokalemia. So this kitty did well with supplementation. We used actually a uh, potassium liquid supplement that we put on the food, potassium gluconate, um, and then we monitored those values serially to make sure that things were going well, and this cat did, did well for a period of time. Thank you.